Okay, so we're getting ready to get the 318, <clears throat> or the Project 318, ready to mow. Uh, normally, I, if you can't tell from all my previous videos, I'm a pretty big deer fan, uh, buying parts from deer and everything else. Uh, I decided with this 50 inch deck that goes on the 318, I decided I'm gonna try out uh, an off-brand, <clears throat> which in this case, it's an XHT, um, I don't even know what it is, but basically it's a, it's the equivalent of a John Deere uh, M86209 uh, blade, which is just the standard lift blade for the 50 inch deck. I uh, bought these because they're basically 25 bucks cheaper than the blades from Deere. Not that that really, it, it ended in my decision, uh, but I mainly wanted to try something else out, see how the product quality was, etc. Um, basically this is a Stens blade, uh, it says Stens right here, I don't know if I can focus in on that, let's see here, see so it says Stens right there, <clears throat> it is made in the USA, I guess that's a good thing, um, but anyway, we're going to try these blades out on the 50 inch deck, because the, 50, the current blades that are on the 50 inch deck are pretty much toast, um, so we'll see how these are, I'm not really impressed with the product quality, can't even get stickers on straight, not that that really matters, because the stickers wear off pretty daggum quick, but if they can't get stickers on straight and on the right spot, I mean, do they really have quality control? I don't know. So we'll see. See how long they last, if they last through the summer. I remember that this machine I'm given to a friend to use this summer. And then at the end of the year, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, based on its current disposition, I have a feeling that I'll probably take it apart, uh, most likely. Only from the standpoint is I found a couple of small frame cracks uh, that I'm not too excited about. <clears throat> and so we'll, we'll see. Uh, so that's one of the reasons that I kind of bought cheaper blades is I didn't want to waste 30 bucks um, or waste an extra 20 bucks when I don't, I'm not certain the, the longevity of how well, this machine will be around. So let's go over to the deck and I'll show you what I found on the deck. All right, so this is the 50 inch deck for that 1993-18. Uh, it's in pretty crummy shape. The, the deck shell itself is, is solid. Uh, the gauge wheels, if you can't tell, are pretty much toast. Uh, so I have ordered all new hardware, except for the post here. I've ordered new gauge wheels and new hardware there. Um, the draft arms are actually pretty new. In fact, they even, have the part number sticker still on them right there doesn't see a part number but i think the the city that owned this before um was was do actually doing maintenance before they took it out of service so uh you know not really all that too big a concern with this deck um it's only going to be used for one summer that's my intent and then we'll send it on down the road uh, it is pretty cruddy i did clean out the underside the pulley has been welded on which doesn't really excite me. The bearings actually seem pretty good. <clears throat> I thought I was gonna have to replace bearings and whatnot, but everything seems okay uh, for bearings. Belt seems okay, there is some rust in the pulleys, but we could deal with that. So, um, yeah, we'll get this, uh, get, once I get the parts in, we'll go ahead and take this deck and, and redo it, or not redo it, but we'll install the new parts to make it somewhat serviceable. Uh, install the new blades and everything, and I should be good to go. So that'll be the next part of the video, is installing the blades and all the new parts and everything, and uh, seeing how, how those XHT blades uh, end up. And hopefully, maybe if the grass starts growing, we might even get a video of it cutting the grass. Uh, at the end of the video. One thing that does concern me <clears throat> really quick is mule drive. Mule drive is not in the best shape. I will have to take the black cover off the cover off the front. Um, so we'll see there. Uh, it's been welded on uh, right down here. It's been welded on. And so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. I mean, this was a, I wanna say I paid 255 bucks for this 318. And I think uh, I think it's 255 bucks well spent. Um, you know, so far, I mean, it runs and drives. That's the good news. And I think it'll it'll serve its purpose this summer. And then at the end of the summer, we can send it on down the road, either whole or in parts. We will see. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing with it, 
and that's kind of what I wanted to do. And uh, yeah, so next part of the video will be fixing the deck. All right, so we're gonna start wrapping up this 318 project. Um, I got the deck turned over. Uh, I've already got it scraped. I think I said that in a previous video. Uh, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna change the blades. And then after I change the blades, we're gonna replace the rear gauge wheels. So I got new bolts, new wheels, and then the rest of the hardware, the washers and everything else. So that is what we're going to do. Figured I would, uh, Got my impact out, it's 5 eighths. Um, here are the new Stens blades that I'm going to try out. So here we go. Now remember if you have a deck upside down, remember to mount the blades correctly. Last thing you want to do is mount the blades incorrectly. here in a couple months I will have a new electric impact at least that is my goal <clears throat> I have been shopping for one for quite a while I just haven't haven't really found one that I wanted or could afford at the moment. So recently I've been looking at the Ingersoll Rand. Um, uh, I think it's 24 volt, 20 volt, 24 volt. Okay, got the plates done. So now we can turn our attention to the back wheels. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set, prop the blade up, make it a little easier to, or pop, sorry, not the blade, but the deck up. Prop the deck up, make it a little easier to work on, and uh, reposition the camera. All right, a little work on getting these wheels apart. I just took them off the deck. Um, rather unfortunate how somebody put this together. I'm just going to use an impact. Alright, like take 28 for trying to get this nut off here. Um, I don't know if I'll include them all. But we're going to get it off here one way or another. Get this wheel off. Ah, there we go. Alright. So, this is the old wheel. One washer and one very worn out bolt. Let me go get the new wheel. So this is the new wheel and this is the new bolt. A little bit different between the two, hopefully you can see that. Um, so, put the, I actually might keep that, that long bolt just in case, but let me get my washers out here. that. And there's this washer that goes on the inside. And that washer that goes on the outside. And then the lock nut. Now I'm not going to put this together with an impact. I'm actually going to put it together with just with hand wrenches. Oddly enough, one side is a 17 millimeter. This side is a no, this side's a 17, this side's a 16. Yeah. 
so I'm going to put this together. Much better. That'll handle that deck much better than the old one. It was pretty well worn out. Uh, it had been replaced because that's a newer style with the with the bushing in there. But still, it it, it it needed to go. So there's one done. Now this one right here is an absolute joke. Let's see if I can get this one apart. Oh yeah. So this one actually I think has been replaced before. It was replaced with the wrong gauge wheel. There are actually two different types of gauge wheels. Um, this one even has the correct washers. Unfortunately, they're all in they're all in the wrong spot. We well, can't get the nut out of there. All right. So now we can replace the other wheel. There is a serial number break on these decks for which part you, uh, for which bolts you need and stuff. I've never been able to figure out exactly what the reason is because um, all these gauge wheels are, the wheels are exactly the same. So the, I think the serial number break is somewhere right at a 550,000, something like, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, <clears throat> But there is a serial number break in these gauge wheels. It has to do with the shoulder bolt here. Go figure. The shoulder bolt's slightly different. The newer style decks, the equipment is a little bit more expensive. So I don't know. Maybe try it out. I think you'll end up with the same problem that the. up with the same problem that we had when we took this one off that it was just so loose. two fixed gauge wheels for the deck I think the 318 is ready to mow I don't the only problem is I don't think I have a uh, from what I remember I don't think I have a correct mule drive belt so I'll have to look into that and see if I can find the correct mule drive belt so uh, I'll get this deck put together and that'll be That'll be it for this part of the video, and uh, the 318 project's almost done. In fact, I think um, the, the folks that are going to use it this summer are going to come pick it up uh, about five or seven days, and they can use it all summer and then sit it on down the road. Thanks for watching.